Hello everyone, my name is Blue Drake, and today I want to talk about a game that I don't think is getting the praise that it deserves. Now this is a project that I covered a while ago when it was in a significantly more rough state, and I have to say that it has come a very long way, and you can currently download the demo for this game completely for free on Steam, and while it is far from perfect and there's a lot of things that still need to be done, compared to when I first covered this project, the progress that it has made is astounding. And while there are still going to be a number of players who have been giving this project grief for being a little rough around the edges, I would say that not only is that entirely forgivable for an early access title, but I'd go as far to say that this might be one of the only Escape from Tarkov inspired projects that is actually going to release and be a real functional game and not a scam. Which is kind of sad that that is just the state of the industry where so many other projects like this have just turned out to be complete vaporware, but you can download this demo for this project on Steam right now, and it actually works. Not only does it have the base extraction mode game loop, but it also has all of the other supporting mechanics in order to make an extraction game fun. It has missions, it has traders, it has all of the different game mechanics that you need to make a game like this work. And I actually think that that is really impressive because if they keep improving the game at this rate, it's only gonna get better from here. But before I tell you more about this project, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is another extraction shooter game called Hawked. If you're ready to embark on the ultimate treasure hunt, you can download Hawked, a thrilling online extraction shooter available right now on PC, PlayStation 4, 5, and the Xbox Series consoles. Hawked offers an immersive, PvPVE experience like no other. Join forces with your squad to battle monsters, solve puzzles, and outfox enemies as you uncover ancient treasures on the mysterious X Isle. And the best part, Hawked is completely free to play. So don't miss out on the action. Download Hawk today using the link in the description, and you can start your renegade journey. Plus, mark your calendars for Twitch drops starting February 15th through March 7th, where you can unlock exclusive in-game rewards just by tuning in. Remember, Hawk doesn't require PS Plus or a Game Pass subscription, but if you are subscribed, you can get an exclusive PS Plus perks pack. And make sure you visit the official game site for a chance to win some amazing prizes in the big giveaway happening right now. So, what are you waiting for? Dive into your adventure, claim your fortune, and become the ultimate renegade by downloading Hawked. Okay, now let's get into this project because I haven't covered this on my channel for a while. When I last made a video about this, this project was called Project Quarantine, but since they released the demo on Steam, they've changed the name and it is now known as Incursion Red River. And I have to say, compared to when I first covered this, this is a completely different game. All of the mechanics are significantly more refined, the gameplay loop is much more solidified, and even though there is a lot of content that is either missing or placeholder, which I mean, it is a demo on Steam for a game that's going to come into early access, I would say that all of the ingredients of an Escape from Tarkov competitor is actually here. And I actually think that that's a big deal. They don't just have all of the little pieces of an Escape from Tarkov clone, which is the game loop and the extraction mechanics. They also have the entire system where you can manage your weapon, take it apart piece by piece. You have your stash, yes, but you also have all of the other systems that I think a lot of people don't think about when they think about an extraction shooter, which is all of the traders and all of the quests. And in addition to that, all of the lore that you can read and access through 
your email. I mean, these are little details that aren't required to make an extraction shooter game work, but I would say nowadays, things like this are kind of essential to make an extraction shooter fun. And these are all things that they've put into the game. So we've already accepted a mission and you can see if we complete this mission, we have some reward that we can get which includes a little bit of cash and some other little things that we can either barter or use for our weapons. And we're gonna go ahead and we're going to select the demo map that we can raid, and we're gonna go and see if we can't complete this mission. All right, so here we are on the demo map. And of course, when you start this map, they very much want you to remember that this is in fact a demo map. Now, we can utilize our GPS unit in order to find our objectives, which we're going to take out right now. And as you can see, this is your standard escape from Tarkov setup. We have our objective down here, some mission intel, and we take that intel and we're expected to take it to this secure container, which is where we're going to drop it. And then when that is done, we can go to any of these extraction points, some of which require special things in order to unlock the extraction point. So again, this is very similar to your standard Escape from Tarkov experience, except it's going to finally be on Steam. Now, this demo kind of makes the looting a little bit easier and it gives you some starting gear right at the spawn point. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what kind of starting gear we can get. Got a couple of magazines for weapons that I don't have, unfortunately. Let's see if there's anything in these other starting containers. Oh, here we go, a really nice MP5. Well, I mean, I guess nice is a strong word. It looks kind of wonky, but hey, it looks functional. Oh, here's another MP5. And this is a cool thing about this game. I mean, it has all of the systems that you need in order to take apart these weapons. So here's this other MP5 here. And we can change out all of the internals, uh, or at least the internals that are able to be changed while you're actually in a raid. There's some things about the weapons that you can only modify while you're in your hideout, but I would say... For this situation, we can take off those optics, throw it on this other MP5 that has a integrated suppressor, and bam! Now we have got a brand new MP5 that is customized the way we want, and we can go out and kick some butt with it. And before we take off entirely, I do want to show off that some of the functionality that I really expect from most tactical shooters is already in here. So for instance, if you double tap R, you'll drop the magazine on the ground. If you hold R, it will check the bullets in the magazine. Those are just little details that maybe a lot of people don't think too much about, but I really think is important for any tactical shooter like this, but there's lots of other tactical shooter games out there, especially early access tactical shooter games that just kind of ignore those things, but those are features that are already in this game, even though it's still in an alpha. And again, you know, while the level design isn't the best and there's some other elements to this that definitely still need polish and work, the fact that they have so many of those little details already in game, already working, I mean, at least to me, is a huge deal. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get ourselves into some combat here as well. Because I actually think that's also going to help show off some of the mechanics that I want to show off. Although our objective, the intel that we're trying to capture, is located somewhere in this base. Oh, I'm going to pull out my AK here because getting a little bit too close for comfort. Oh, he is still alive. And as you can see, lots of other little details, like for instance, when you reload the weapon, you will reload and it will play the same animations in either ADS 
or non-ADS. And I know that might seem like a, a fairly subtle detail for people who aren't used to Unreal Engine, but little things like that just show to me that they are actually setting up their first-person controller in Unreal Engine correctly. So a lot of these animation systems are dynamic. That was actually a big mistake that we made when we first started working on Operation Harsh Doorstop. A lot of our animations were kind of like hard-coded. We didn't have a lot of the systems set up in order to allow for dynamic reloads that were independent of the camera position. So while there may be a lot of things that standard players aren't going to pick up on, there definitely are things here that I'm picking up on where I'm thinking, hey, the developers that are working on this project are focusing on the correct... are focusing on the correct things. And... Hold on, I'm trying not to die here. But the fact that so many of these things aren't just in, but also feel fairly fluid... For instance, you know, all of the weapon handling feels pretty solid. And even though, you know, even the artificial intelligence that I'm fighting here, these scavs, the scavs can be a little bit wonk in terms of some of their animations, and some of the ragdoll effects are a little bit weird as well, but the gameplay mechanics surrounding these scavs that are currently in the game are all entirely functional. So... You know, we're going to get into this combat situation here, but, you know, when they actually make contact with you, they're going they're going to advance on your position, they're going to flank you, and when you go up to them, you can loot their inventory, you can interact with them. Again, all of the ingredients of a successful extraction shooter are here, and... Hold on, I'm trying not to die here. Seems like my my weapon might be jammed. Yep, I think my weapon's jammed. I am just gonna go for the Glock here. I mean, again, I don't know about the rest of you all, but I think that the the things that actually need to be right at this stage of development for a game like this. Those things are right, and they're in this game done correctly. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish up this intel extraction mission and hopefully not get ourselves killed because I do want to showcase the entire mission game loop that is currently implemented in the game. All right, so here we go. Here is an Operation Plan C objective. And we now need to take this to this secure container in order to complete the mission. And then we can hit one of these extraction points in order to extract back to our hideout and gain reputation with the faction that gave us the mission. And the more missions we do, the more reputation we get, the higher tier items we can access from the traders, etc., etc. I mean, again, all of the ingredients of a successful extraction shooter are here. I think all that is left is they just need to refine this and lock down the level design, get some better assets in. But, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, that's... That's the easy stuff. You know, if you've got a couple of wonk assets here and there, that is that is a very highly fixable problem. I think what any developer should be more worried about is if their core game loop is just completely scuffed. Oh. And lucky for them, the core game loop for this project is not completely scuffed. Oh, 
Although I'm going to be scuffed if I get killed by these scav patrols. Alright, let's go. Okay, so up here in this compound is the secure container that we are going to drop our intel in so we can complete this objective. Another thing about this project is this might be one of the only Unreal Engine 5 Lumen-enabled first-person shooter projects with a complete game loop that I have actually seen. And I have seen a lot of people playing this game with the Lumen system turned off, which I feel like kind of defeats the point. Hold up, I hear somebody. Okay. And to show you what I'm talking about, or if you don't know what Lumen is, Lumen is basically Unreal Engine's version of RTX. And if I were to go into graphics and turn off Lumen, you'll notice how big of a difference that makes. And <laughs> not really a good difference. I mean, this all looks very bland and uh, not particularly realistic when it comes to lighting, but when you turn on Lumen, and this is an Unreal Engine 5 feature, everything instantly looks amazing. And that is kind of the whole point of Lumen. And I, I think that that is one of the biggest perks about this project. This is an actual, proper Unreal Engine 5 shooter, and I think that those are kind of rare, because there's a lot of Unreal Engine 5, like, tech demos and kind of, like, half-baked games that haven't really gotten off of the ground, but this is a fully functional game built on Unreal Engine 5 and has Lumen, which is one of Unreal Engine 5's coolest features, fully enabled and configured. That is awesome. And the fact that they have all of that and the game still actually runs at a reasonable frame rate, at least for my PC, is, uh, I, I, I feel like that's a bigger accomplishment than people seem to realize. But enough talk, let's, uh, finish getting through here and finishing this objective. I mean, look at this. I mean, there's, there's sections of this map that actually look pretty great, as long as you have Lumen enabled. I've seen some people shooting footage of this map, though, with Lumen disabled, and then being like, oh, it looks horrible, and it's like, man, you're gonna run an Unreal Engine 5 project with all of the advanced RTX lighting systems turned off? Like, that, that kind of defeats the point of playing an Unreal Engine 5 game. I mean, seriously, like, look at this. If I were to turn this off... This looks awful. This looks horrendous. But that's kind of the whole point. I mean, you're not going to make a game in Unreal Engine 5 and then build it to not look good in Lumen. I mean, Lumen, I feel like, is the whole point of this. And, I mean, look at this. I mean, this, this looks pretty good. Lumen is fantastic technology. Very screenshot worthy. Alright, I need to find this container though. Where is this container? Somewhere up here. So somewhere right here. Oh, here we go. Boom. There we go. In you go. Bam. Mission complete, I assume? Yes, it is. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, there we go. And now we are extracting. Let's take a look at all the stuff we got. So, there you go. There is a completely functional Escape from Tarkov alternative that is going to be releasing on Steam sometime after the Steam Next Fest is complete. And it has all of the ingredients that you would need in order to have a complete Escape from Tarkov experience. It's definitely not perfect, and it definitely still needs some work, but the fact that all of the core systems are here and working is 
a much bigger accomplishment than I think people give credit for. Assets can be made, levels can be improved, all of those things are highly fixable, highly improvable. What is not highly fixable and not highly improvable is all of the core logic, all of the game systems, but those are here and they are working and the few bugs that I've experienced are nothing more than just that a few bugs and I would say that if the team continues improving this project just like they've been improving it since I last covered it on this channel well I mean they're going to have something amazing relatively quickly so if you want to go check this out definitely download their demo on Steam and if you want to support our sponsor you can also download Hawked for free using the links in the description Besides that, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.